So I've been playing this game, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, and I haven't played it since last August. Now, this, this video is not going to be about video games. This video is going to be about what I have realized while playing this video game. And I was playing this game, and I, I went to, I'm like, you know what? I, I haven't played this game since August. I didn't beat it. I've had it. I bought it. I played it. I may as well beat it. I got to the to one, the last dungeon that I had to beat to get to the to the final uh, crescendo or whatever and, and beat this game. And I get to the final boss, and his name is, is Ganondorf, and I, I got my ass whooped. So I would go back, and it, it just kept going on, on and on and on. It just kept getting my ass kicked. And I'm like, this ain't working. What I did is I came out of this dungeon that I was in to, to, to defeat this boss or play, you know, play this boss. And I get out of it and I start going and upgrading my armor and doing the quest that, that you need to upgrade your armor. After I did all of that, I started cooking because you got to cook and make these little meals that'll, to, that'll increase your heart, uh, you know, if you get hit or whatever. But as I'm making these meal packs, I realized that if it says hearty in front of it, it'll give you your full hearts back no matter how many hearts you have. Now, if you play Zelda, you know that can be a lot of hearts. And I'm like, this is like my life. I made this so much harder than it really needed to be prior to this. I would do all these weird combinations when literally all I had to do was put one thing in the cooking pot that said hearty on it. And that's all I needed to do. And it's like my life. I started working when I was 13. I've been working for basically 30 years now. I could retire. <laughs> but my thoughts were, were always the harder you work, the better things will be. You just put in the work and everything will be fine. But if you're putting in the work in something that you don't want the work to be put into, like, for example, if you if you go to a, your daily job every single day and you hate the job, but you're putting in the work, but you're putting in the work for somebody else. You're never putting in the work for you. And it doesn't have to be that hard. Like the people that I know the most successful in my life, actually, like I'm going to take my uncle, for example. He owns a very successful electrical company. And he got started before he even knew how to do electrical work. He, would, he went and sold this stuff. He had this thought in his head that I want to start an electrical company. I'm going to get this done. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go to people's house. I'm going to sell electric work to these people, and I don't even know how to do it. And what he did is he sold this electrical work, and he found people who knew how to do it. And that's how he got started. I still don't to this day. I, I think he knows how to do it, but it doesn't have to be that hard. I see a lot of people putting in so much work or just constantly burned out, got the eye, you know, the, the bags under their eyes that got the black around their eyes. They look terrible. All of this effort, all this work into things, it's just so much stress that goes into everything nowadays. And it really doesn't have to be that way. It really doesn't have to be that. And then you've got somebody else, like my, my buddy, I haven't talked to him in a while, but he's one of these guys that he would pray about something. And I swear, I literally could watch it happen. Like he would pray, like I want a sandwich. It, it, somebody would show up to work with an extra sandwich or something like that. And they would give them a sandwich. Oh, like, oh, hey, you want this? I mean, so this is how easy it can be. And when I'm watching it, and I know this is a video game, but life is basically a video game. It's basically a holographic image that we are living in right now. You may think that's crazy, but, you know, quantum. We're living in this quantum whatever that we're in. And we can have these thoughts and everybody's witnessed this. Like you, you get up, you have, you have, you hit your knee on the, the, the bed stand and you, you, your day starts off terrible and you start complaining about everything and everything aligns to be terrible that day. Then you have another day where you wake up, you don't hit your knee on anything. You have that little pep, pep, pep in your step. Me, for example, I got to pass the cellar sizer to get out of the house do a little cellar sizer work, go out of the house, go do my stuff. And everything's fine and dandy. And everything works out. You you go up to, to the lights. You know, if you're driving, you go up to the lights. Every light's green. Everything's fine. <clears throat> Whereas if you're in that bad mood, every light's red. Everything's taken forever. You can't get to work on time. Everybody's yelling at you for being late. Everything is a hot mess. So the easier you take it on yourself, the easier you make this mentality of, of you living in this existence we're living in and realizing that it doesn't have to be that hard. It doesn't have to be so hard that you try to fight the boss Ganondorf in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom five or six times before you realize, hey, 
you didn't upgrade your armor, it could be a lot easier than this. Just go do this simple thing. And you could create the life that you're actually looking for instead of grinding it out at a, at a garbage job of yours that you're defending because you're probably trying to please your parents, trying to please your spouse, trying to please everybody in your life. And if you hear me saying this, this is coming from experience. And you're trying to please these people and these people's opinions of how you should be living are in your head. You live based on that your entire life and you're 43 <laughs> and you take that even into your video games. And then one day you realize that all you had to do was cook something that said hearty in it and you could have had all of your hearts replenished. Simple. Things are a little harder to find maybe, but that might be a limiting thought as well. As I go through this, and you know, it's crazy too, because I was out today and I was doing DoorDash and I'm like, I don't, I don't feel this shit. I don't feel it at all. I don't feel like doing this. I am going to go home and I'm going to play the Zelda game. Now I know that sounds like lazy man's ver version of life, right? And maybe it is. But as I walked in the door, I had a couple sales from eBay that I forgot I even had listed sell out of nowhere, making quadruple what I would have normally made on my DoorDash shift. Is it coincidence? I don't believe in coincidence. Is it coincidence? Possibly. Anything's possible in this world, right? But when you finally just live the life that you want to live and do the things and listen to yourself, you have this voice in your head for a reason and it probably isn't telling you to go and and grind and do all this you it's amazing how when you are just working in alignment with, with what you want to do everything just that path and you could do this with simple things too the very simple things like green lights because when you're coming up to, like when you're coming up to the intersection and, and the light might be green still, you're thinking, don't go red. Don't turn run. Don't turn red. Don't turn red. But it's kind of like once you're thinking about it turning red, it's going to turn red. If you would have thought like, I know it's not going to be green. It's not going to be green. It's not going to be green. Do you ever notice how when you say this stuff, when you like, when you focus on certain things, even if you put the word don't or not or whatever in front of it, how you get that thing back? Instead of coming up to an intersection and saying, well, I don't turn red, don't turn red, say, don't turn green or something along those lines. You can, you can use this, this in a small way in the beginning and not, hopefully this video made some sense to, to somebody who watches this, but when I was playing that game and when I realized that all I had to cook was that one little thing that said hardy in front of it, instead of trying to create all these combinations. It can be that damn simple. Why create all these recipes when all you got to do is cook this one thing and you can get in alignment with where you're going. You don't have to do all this other stuff. Now, it's up to you. I mean, a lot of people like that security, but is there security in this world? I don't know. I haven't seen it. The only security that I've ever seen is when my mentality was right and everything just lined up. It's like when I first started my photography studio, I didn't have a single person that I was going to photograph. Not a single person that I was going to photograph. Not a single one. But I went and rented out that studio anyways. I didn't even do it actually. I didn't I I didn't even I didn't even rent the studio myself. I had the thought I had a friend who has a lot more money than I do. He's like, "Hey, I've known I know you've always wanted to do this photography thing." I've seen your work. You know what you're doing. Why don't I why don't I help you and I'll rent this studio for you? I didn't even ask him. He called me up. He said, "Why don't I do this for you?" I'm like, "I don't have anybody even photograph right now, but let me go talk to this guy, I know this guy. And I will get back to you." And I did. And we went and met with him and I rented out the studio. And the second I rented out the studio, my buddy, other buddy called me. He's like, all right, you know, I've been working in the model industry for a long time. He's like, I got this friend in Cleveland. He's like, uh, she's, she's a little crazy. I said, good. Cause uh, you know, I can't handle normal. And he's like, all right, I'm going to I'm going to give you the contact number for this girl, call her up. And I ended up running the studio with her. She was also a model. And 
she was really good with uh, marketing and, and social media, which I'm, you know, I'm on social media, but I'm not the, the greatest at marketing. Maybe that's, a, 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 you know, my issue for even saying that. I had so many people lining up to come work with me. It wasn't, it was, it was crazy. I had people coming in from New York, Chicago, Miami. I, I mean, people coming in like crazy, crazy. I mean, just, it was nuts. I was working 12, 15 hours a day. But when you're working 12, 15 hours a day doing something you really like, it's not work anymore. But if you're going to work, if you're if you're in this Zelda t uh, Tears of the Kingdom, like I keep mentioning, and you are trying to figure out all these combinations of everything you do, and you're grinding and grinding and grinding, and then you realize that if you just upgrade your armor and you do these few different things and you have a different mindset about it and you, and you cook up this one thing that you didn't even need, I didn't even need it by the time I got to the battle because my armor was so strong. I beat this guy four phases of this this final boss, one go around, and I didn't even need to do any healing. It was that simple. Where previously the 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 version of me that was just trying to grind this shit out, I couldn't beat it. I wasn't even gonna come close. And then my mentality is like, I can't beat this guy. And then the next day I woke up, I'm like, I know I can beat him. I'm just going to do this instead. You might have a defeatist day. You might have one of these days where everything's going wrong, but you don't have to wake up like that the next day unless you don't wake up and then, you know, it doesn't matter anyways. But if you do wake up the next day and you don't feel like doing that same stuff over again, like I didn't feel like doing DoorDash today. I did one order. I'm like, why am I wasting my life with this? I'm going home. I made four times more than I would have had I just stuck it out with that we really have to think about this mentality of grinding things out instead of just pursuing what it is that you actually want to do and letting things flow and grow just like my studio it was crazy it was crazy to me watching i don't i didn't even think about this at the time and it's probably better i had so many models wanting to work with me and then i had so many places sending me like swimwear and just uh, and then i started working with uh vintage clothing places uh, there were there were manufacturing vintage clothes because I, a lot of the people I had were uh, you know just had that look that tattoo grunge kind of look which ironically I, I don't do the tattoo thing but that's who I had so that's who I was starting to attract and it was coming in like crazy and then I self sabotaged and, and and if you watch if you watch if you watch your my existence I have self sabotaged I mean I the the money that that studio. Anyway, when you really think about if you're really out there, if you're grinding like crazy. Now, I know there's those hustlers out there and everybody likes the hustler. Everybody likes that. Right. But do you really need to do it? I didn't. At any time anything has worked in my life the way I want it to work. I didn't hustle at all. I just had a thought. I put it out there. Somebody else paid for it. But yeah, the more the more of this, uh, the, the longer I am on this planet and the more I observe it the more I realize that you don't need to do as much as you think you do to get where you want to go. And where you want to go, everybody knows where they want to go. Everybody knows where they don't want to go and everybody knows where they want to go. Which one are you going to do? Anyway, that is the video. Uh, comments, questions down below. Like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next one.